introduce a uh, fire paper for the for simulation. I'm going to present a handout to everybody. I didn't want to kill trees, so just print one. Be right here. Today, when you're going over fire science, uh, my objective is going to be uh, to explain the, fire, the science of fire as it relates to energy forms of ignition and modes of combustion. Uh, fire science uh, takes a variety of forms, all involve heat producing chemical reactions between fuel and oxidizers, most common in oxygen and air. Understanding physical science of fire can help fire, firefighter safety, which also translates into practical knowledge of fire behavior. Uh, firefighters will be able to read the fire and recognize what is happening and to predict the potential behavior. Physical changes. Uh, subs uh, substance remains uh, chemically the same, changes in size, shape, or appearances. For example, water freezing, also liquid to, uh, liquid to solid, boiling, liquid to gas. Uh, chemical reactions. Substance changes from one type of matter to into another. For example, two or more substances combining to form compounds and also an oxygen Oxidation, combination of oxidizers with other materials can be slow or rapid. Energy, defined as, defined as capacity to uh, form work. In case of heat, defined as increasing temperature or, or substance. Works occur when force is applied to an object over distance. Substance undergoes chemical, biological, or physical change. Uh, examples of uh, forms of energy with uh, potential represents amount of kinetic energy that an object can release at some point in the future. Fuels have a certain amount of chemical potential energy before it's ignited. Different fuels release different amounts of energy over different amounts of time. Kinetic, energy uh, possessed by moving objects. Moving may be a, on a molecular, molecular level. Uh, molecules vibrate when heat increases. Types of energy which includes chemical, thermal, mechanical, electrical, light, nuclear, and sound. All energy can change from one type to another, and fire behavior, potential chemical energy of fuel are converted to thermal energy, released and released as heat. Measurement of energy. Uh, joules, joules, parentheses J, in an international system of units, parentheses SI, uh, British thermal unit, parentheses BTU, a customary system frequently used in the fire service. Uh, 1,055 joules equals to one BTU. Chemical physical changes always include exchange of energy. Fuel's potential energy are released during combustion, converted to kinetic energy. Reactions are exothermic, which em emit em uh, energy as they occur. Fire is combustible that releases energy in the, in the form of heat, sometimes visible light. We also have endothermic, which they absorb energy as it occurs, and it converts water from liquid to gas, requiring input of energy, important part of controlling and extinguishing some types of fires. Forms of ignition, uh, fuel is heated, temperature increases, uh, sufficient heat transfer causes uh, paralysis in solid fuels, vapor, uh, vaporation in liquid fuels. Release ignitable vapors or gases. Energy necessary for ignition. Well, provided by an external source, fuel can be heated until it ignites without spark or other source. Uh, it also continues production, igni uh, production, ignition of fuel vapors or gases, so com uh, combustion reaction is sustained. Forms of ignition, um, which are, is piloting, most common, uh, occurs when a mixture of fuel and oxygen encounter external heat sources with sufficient heat or thermal energy to start a combustion process. Auto ignition, which is non piloted, uh, occurs without any external flame or spark to ignite fuel gases or vapors. Fuel, surfa fuel surface is chemically heated to the point at which combustion reaction occurs. Auto ignition temperature, uh, for instance, AIT, minimum temperature to which fuel and air must be heated to so start self sustained combustion always higher than piloted ignition temperature. Modes of combustion. Fire combustion, similar, uh, similar conditions are combustion and chemical reaction can occur without fire. Fire is one possible result of com uh, combustion. Uh, two modes, 
be not flaring, uh, occurs more slowly at, at lower temperature, producing smoldering glow and temp material uh, surface, and flaming, which produces visible flame above material surface, commonly referred to as fire. Okay, we have two different types of models, and I'm going to be explaining the elements of fire, how fires can be introduced. Just, ladies and gentlemen, if you please refer to the whiteboard, uh, this is an example of the fire triangle, it, which is the oldest, simplest model. Three elements necessary, fuel, oxygen, and heat. Uh, once any of those elements are removed, the fire is extinguished. Also, refer your attention to the whiteboard, is the example of a fire tetrahedron. It, which shows the uninhibited chemical chain reaction must be present to, to fire to occur. Uh, created to explain fire involving certain types of substances, types of agents necessary to extinguish. Uh, materials that have effect on both ignition, fire, uh, fire development, which are fuel, heat, oxygen, and passive agents, materials that absorb heat, but do not participate actively in combustion reactions, such as drywall, content of vegetation, relative humidity in, uh, in air outside of structures. There's also non-flaming combustion. Occurs when, when burning is located on or near fuel surface when in contact with oxygen. Examples are burning charcoal, smoldering wood, or fabric. Uh, the fire triangle is used to illustrate the above. Flaming combustion. Occurs when gaseous, gaseous fuels mixture, mixes with oxygen to correct ratio is, heat, is heated to ignition, to ignition temperature. Requires liquid of, or fuel solid fuels to be vaporized or converted to gas phase through addition of heat. Fire tetrahedron reflects the condition required, removing any elements, interrupts chemical chain reaction, stops flaming combustion, even when with uh, elements removed may, may continue to smolder. Products of combustion produced as fuel burns changes chemical uh, composition, often described as heat which is energy released to thermal energy, smoke, new, new substances. Thermal energy heats adjacent fuels, makes them more susceptible, susceptible to ignition, cause fire spread. Without adequate protection, persons may suffer from burns, damage to respiratory tract, dehydration, heat, and exhaustion. Uh, toxic smoke causes most fire deaths. Uh, smoke, such as aerosols comprised of gases, vapors, solid particulates, also products of incomplete combustion. In structure fires, multiple fuels are involved. There is a limited air supply and produces a wide range of products, toxic, uh, flammable gases, uh, vapors, and particulates. Fire gases generally are colorless and vapors are particularly give the smoke a color. Most components toxic present a significant threat to the human life. Effects result in interrelated products present. Carbon monoxide, CO. Toxic flammable products of incomplete combustion or organic carbon, uh, carbon containing materials. Uh, most common product encountered in, in structure fires. Uh, exposure frequently identified as cause of death for both civilians and firefighters. Act of chemi uh, chemical asphyxiants blind, uh, binds with the hemoglobin in blood, providing cells from dis uh, distributing oxygen to the body. Hydrogen cyanide, HCN. It's a toxic flammable uh, substance produced by materials containing nitrogen. Acts of chemical asphyxiants prevents the body from using oxygen on a cellular level. Significant byproduct of polyurethane foam commonly used in furniture bedding and, and bedding. Carbon dioxide, CO2, product of, of complete combustion of organic materials. Act as uh, simply as, as an asphyxiant by displacing oxygen. Acts of respiratory uh, stimulant increasing respiratory rate. Irritants and smoke cause breathing discomfort, inflammation of eyes, respiratory tract, and skin. Uh, depends on fuels in involved. Smoke may contain unburned fuel in the form of in solid liquid particles and gases. Smoke must be treated with the same respect as any other flammable gas. It may burn or explode. Firefighters must use an SCBA when operating in toxic atmospheres. Volume and density reduced during overhaul, but hazard is not eliminated. Hazardous concentrations above published short-term exposure limits likely to be present during overhaul. Hazardous concentrations may be pre present in areas outside the structure. Flame, a visible luminous body of burning gas. Also, when mixed with proper amount of oxygen, flame becomes hotter and less luminous. Loss of luminosity, 
causes by more complete combustion. So summary and review, uh, we went through uh, that uh, you have to uh, need to understand the combustion process, how fire behaves, and how to select an appropriate extinguishing agents. Also, understand that fire behavior can help you recognize the developing fire uh, conditions and respond safely to mitigate hazard presence in the fire environment. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.